The anticipation for Sony's next big release has been building for quite some time, and now all eyes are once again on the company's upcoming hybrid marvel, the Sony A7 V. While nothing has been made official yet, multiple reliable sources suggest that Sony is preparing to unveil this camera toward the end of the year, likely around October or November 2025. That timing feels right. Sony has managed to stretch the A7 IV's life cycle impressively, but after nearly three years on the market, photographers and filmmakers alike are eager for something new. Originally, many expected a mid-2025 release, but it appears that factors like tariffs, ongoing supply chain constraints, and the sustained demand for the A7 IV lineup pushed things back a few months. Now, with all the pieces starting to come together, the question isn't whether the Sony A7 V is coming, it's what kind of upgrades we can realistically expect from it. From what's been circulating across the rumor mill, the Sony A7 V is not set to revolutionize the A7 lineup from the ground up, but rather to refine and evolve it in a meaningful way. That approach makes perfect sense. The A7 line has always represented Sony's most balanced offering, sitting neatly between the ultra-high-resolution A7R series and the video-centric A7S models. It's the camera designed for hybrid creators, professionals, and enthusiasts who demand excellent performance in both stills and video without stepping into flagship pricing territory. Sony understands that this balance is what made the A7 line so successful in the first place, and they can't afford to alienate that loyal audience. On the design and usability front, early reports suggest a more durable build with an enhanced grip and slightly improved ergonomics. Dual card slots will once again make an appearance, but this time they're expected to support both CF Express Type-A and SD cards, giving users far more flexibility. High-speed CF Express cards will be ideal for video shooters dealing with heavy codecs or high burst rates, while traditional SD cards will remain perfect for casual shooting or quick backups. This hybrid storage setup ensures creators can work efficiently in different scenarios without constantly worrying about compatibility or card limits. Another likely improvement is the electronic viewfinder EVF. While the A7 Forest EVF was functional and sharp enough for most situations, many users noted it could feel limiting during long sessions, especially outdoors or when precise manual focusing was required. The Sony A7 V is rumored to include a higher-resolution OLED EVF, similar to what we see in the A1 or A7 RV. That would be a welcome change, making the viewing experience more immersive and natural, particularly for those shooting in demanding lighting conditions. Now let's get into the heart of what excites most users, the sensor. The Sony A7 V is rumored to feature a new 44-megapixel BS-ICMOS sensor, supported by a dedicated AI processing unit. It's not expected to be a stacked sensor like the one found in the A9 III, but that's not necessarily a drawback. A stacked design prioritizes readout speed and burst performance, whereas this new BSI sensor seems tuned for a balance of resolution, dynamic range, and low-light performance. Compared to the A7 IV's 33MP sensor, this represents a significant leap in detail, catering to photographers who crave higher resolution without stepping into the ultra-demanding 60MP range of the A7R series. The mention of triple base ISOs 800, 4000, and 25600 has caught the attention of many video professionals. If true, this would be a massive advantage for those who shoot in S-Log3, S-Log2, or HLG profiles as it would greatly enhance dynamic range and flexibility across different lighting conditions. Whether you're working in controlled studio environments or low-light event scenarios, the A7V's potential ISO versatility could make it one of the most adaptable hybrid cameras ever produced. Creators who regularly expose for log footage know how crucial base ISO structure can be for clean image quality and smooth post-production grading. Another major talking point is burst shooting performance. The Sony A7 V is expected to reach speeds of 20 frames per second in mechanical RAW which doubles what the A7 IV was capable of. While it won't match the blistering 120 FPS of the A9 III, it still represents a huge step forward for the A7 series, expanding its usability into sports, wildlife, and action photography. Combine that with an 8-stop in-body image stabilization IBIS system and a next-generation AI autofocus engine, 
and you have a camera capable of handling nearly any situation. Sony's real-time tracking already set a benchmark on the A7 IV, but now with advanced subject detection powered by AI, including improved body, face, and eye recognition, we could see reliability reach an entirely new level. This could make the A7 V a dream machine for portrait, wedding, and street photographers who rely heavily on precision autofocus. On the video side, expectations are high. Early leaks suggest that the Sony A7 V could support 6K recording at up to 30p and possibly even in 8K crop mode, though the latter remains less certain. More realistically, we might see 6K oversampled 4K video, which would already be a huge upgrade from the A7IV's 4K 60p capabilities. This improvement would put the A7 V in direct competition with cameras like the Canon R6 Mark II and the Nikon Z6 III, both strong hybrid contenders in the $2,000-$3,000 price bracket. For hybrid creators, this level of flexibility means sharper detail, cleaner color, and better overall performance in professional workflows. Still, the A7 V won't be trying to compete directly with Sony's cinema-focused models like the FX3 or the A7S III. Those cameras still reign supreme for dedicated filmmakers who prioritize dynamic range, rolling shutter performance, and extended recording modes. The Sony A7 V, on the other hand, is expected to target creators who straddle both worlds, those who want to shoot professional-grade stills and polished video content on a single body. With the added resolution and potentially upgraded log support, it could easily become the most practical hybrid camera Sony has ever made. Pricing is another key area of interest. The A7 IV debuted at $2,499, and the Sony 7 V is expected to land somewhere between $2,799 and $2,999 depending on regional taxes and market positioning. While that's not a budget-friendly figure, it's still competitive compared to what Canon and Nikon are offering. Sony's rivals have been gaining ground. Nikon's C6 III and Canon's R6 Mark II both deliver impressive autofocus systems and advanced video capabilities. To stay competitive, the A7 V will need to bring tangible improvements, not just incremental upgrades. Sony knows the hybrid camera market is more crowded than ever, and every update has to earn its place. Of course, the question many users are asking is, what practical improvements will make the biggest difference in real-world use? It's not just about raw specifications, it's about how all those numbers come together in practice. A 44-megapixel sensor will mean bigger files, which can quickly strain your storage workflow. Photographers who shoot in RAW or burst mode will need to consider investing in larger, faster memory cards and external drives. Likewise, the increased frame rate of 20 FPS will only matter if the buffer and card write speeds can handle the data. That's where CFexpress compatibility becomes so important, but those cards come at a cost. Either way, what we're looking at is a thoughtful step forward for Sony's most popular mirrorless line, a model that strengthens its hybrid identity while addressing the practical needs of modern creators. The Sony A7 V isn't just another refresh, it's a statement that Sony remains deeply committed to the hybrid market. As we await official confirmation, one thing is clear, the A7 V could easily become one of the most balanced and desirable mirrorless cameras of 2025, 